Hi everyone, I'll show you how to build a simple and affordable earthquake or vibration sensor using a SW420 vibration sensor module. This project is great for beginners and can be completed with just a few basic components. Let's dive in. Here's everything you'll need for this project. SW420 Vibration Sensor Module. This is the core of the project. It detects vibrations and sends a signal. You can find it online for less than a dollar. In 3.7 volt battery. I'm using a rechargeable one, but you can repurpose a phone or laptop battery. Wires, just some basic ones for connections. 3 to 24 VDC buzzer. This will sound an alarm when the sensor detects vibrations. Like the sensor, this is also affordable and easy to get. Switch, this lets you control the power easily. A wood plank, it will serve as the base to mount everything securely. Make sure you also have tools like a soldering iron and glue for assembly. Before we get started, let's look at the wiring diagram. Take a moment to pause the video if you need to study it. Here's how it works. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to the sensor module's VCC pin. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the sensor module's GND pin. The out pin from the sensor goes to the positive input of the buzzer. Finally, the negative terminal of the buzzer connects back to the battery. If you're using a switch, place it between the battery's positive terminal and the sensor's VCC pin. This way you can easily cut the power when needed. Now that the wiring is clear, I've soldered the components together and mounted them on the wood plank for stability. This keeps everything neat and reduces the risk of loose connections. Let's power it on and test it. Hmm, it looks like there's an issue. The buzzer keeps buzzing even when the sensor is still. This happens because the SW420 sensor is highly sensitive to its orientation. When the module is placed flat, its internal spring mechanism can cause false signals. To fix this, I tried placing the sensor vertically instead. And there it is. Now the sensor works perfectly. A small shake triggers the buzzer and it stops when the vibrations settle. This vertical orientation ensures that the sensor only reacts to genuine movements. To keep it stable, I secured it in place with a bit of glue. Here's the final setup. It's simple, effective, and ready to detect vibrations. You can use this as an earthquake detector, a DIY alarm, or even a motion-sensitive device for other projects. Just give the setup a light shake, and the buzzer immediately goes off, warning you of any vibrations. Thanks for joining me today. This project shows how you can create something practical and educational with just a few inexpensive components. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more DIY projects. See you next time.